Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. DOT continues to move in this descending price channel. You can see that basically since this swing low on the 13th of April, there has only been sideways movement and it is, it looks like a large corrective structure. I've highlighted that in the white scenario as an ABC structure. And yeah, there's nothing that clearly would indicate something more bullish is going on. It's of course possible. I've got the alternative wave two there. In reality, as long as we only have a three wave rally, there isn't really anything clearly bullish that I can offer with high confidence. There has to be a bullish alternative or something, yeah. But then also we need the five waves, right? As long as it's only a three wave rally, even if we break out of the structure, it could simply be a larger corrective wave, for example, a wave, B wave, C wave, yeah, which would be a bit of a bit of a disaster there, yeah, because that will that will extend this correction for probably at least a month or longer, and yeah, nobody wants that really, but it's just something that could happen, and yeah, I won't confirm a low in place, not yet. Okay, so at the moment this could still simply be a fourth wave. Yeah, the fourth wave is massive. Makes me think maybe it is some kind of a B wave, but then I would need to see it go higher. Um, at the moment, the downside pressure remains high. <clears throat> Either way, especially as long as the price stays in this pattern, in this channel, in this downside channel. We have our trend line there on the chart. You can see that on the chart there. It's part of this potential descending broadening wedge that I'm tracking there. Yeah, ideally, eventually we break out of it to the upside. But as long as we are caught within it, there is no confirmed breakout. And that would be my breakout point, getting above that descending trend line. That's at least the first main level to watch because it's not only the trend line, it's also this previous swing high that formed here around the 22nd of April. It's the A wave top of a fourth wave. Getting above that level could send us to the next resistance level at $7.90. And that's only the 100% extension level of this advance here, of this rally. And that's also just a common target for a C wave, right? Yeah, it would be massive for a wave four, but not invalid and certainly possible in these ugly diagonal patterns. You know? So again, it even you know it doesn't even matter so much to me if it's called if it's called a wave four or if it's a B wave. It's a corrective rally, and therefore one more low has to be considered at least one more low to possibly 565 and 539. Been talking about that for weeks now and we might still get there eventually, yeah? Obviously not guaranteed. Eventually what I'd like to see is a reversal in the yellow support zone, but so far the market hasn't clarified yet that it wants to form a low there. It's trying to, it's trying to, but it's just a sideways range. Essentially this wave four that I'm tracking there could even turn into a triangle. Okay, so it's for example possible that this is just a triangle pattern. Okay, we don't know that at this stage. They could just be doing this, okay? Um, that nothing that I would, because we don't have enough waves yet. If it forms another higher low next, then I'm going to continue to really track a triangle. At the moment, I just have two touch points down there, two touch points up there. Not really enough for really a reliable, you know, confirmation or assessment that this is a triangle but it is a sideways it is a correction so so no low can be confirmed yet the only way really how dot could rally also to new highs from here is if this starts in yellow with a diagonal pattern but i won't be able to confirm that until we get five waves that need to reach nine dollars and 37 because that's the 1.618 extension of the initial one two setup what would be the yellow count and um the 1.618 extension is my minimum expectation for a fifth wave. The third would need to reach 879. Until we see that, expectations would be for the price to get to 565 next and to form a clear bottoming structure, ideally. That's my update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.